Oh my God, my friend Mr. Beast is back, guys. We are going to be hanging out with him in GTA. Can you believe it? Joe, you just stepped down from your presidential nomination and all you've been doing is playing GTA the past 48 hours straight. Yeah, Joe, I have to go up against Kamala now and you get to just doze off and play GTA all day? Hmm, maybe I should reconsider. That does sound like a good life. Yeah, speaking of Kamala, should we have her on an episode? From my knowledge, she is a big gamer. You guys would like her. Let us know in the comments if we should have her grind some GTA with us. Also, shout out to Adjustable Finally 68 who says, You are the best YouTube ever. Keep it up. Thank you so much for that comment, and I love your CM Punk profile picture. Best in the world. Leave a comment like this to get in the next video. Guys, now that Kamala is here, does that mean we can boot old Joe to the curb? No, Donnie, you're stuck with me forever. We are bonded for life. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Don. Joe's here to stay. But maybe I'll kick both of you out if we don't win this huge Mr. Beast prize. I really want to win. Hey, Jimmy, I'm pumped to be here. Can't believe you've got us on your show. This is going to be huge. I'm the real fan here, Jimmy. Your shows are my favorite, man. Love what you do, Miss Priest. Thanks, Joe. I'm stoked to have you all. Today is not just any show. It's a special presidential edition. So folks at home, let's hit that one million likes. A million likes. Huh, Miss Priest? Exactly, Obama. You heard it right. So what's the payday for a million likes, Jimmy? Oh, Donald, let's keep some mysteries, shall we? Let's just say it's enough to buy you hold together with your assets. Don, mem stay in, Miss Beast. All right, gents, we've got three wild challenges. The ultimate winner drives away in a brand new McLaren P1. So are you guys ready? Bring on those challenges, Jimmy. I'm here to win. I'm pretty sure I got this one. We all know who is the freaking genius here. Yeah, Obama. I'm going to dust the floor with your face on this one. So what are these challenges, Jimmy? Ah, uh, the thrill is in the mystery, Joe. Each challenge will be revealed only after you've completed the previous one. But don't worry, they're pretty simple. Well, at least they seem that way. And Joe, just for you, if you complete all the challenges, I'll throw in a full ice cream truck. How's that for motivation? Come on, now you've got me all hyped. Gentlemen, your first challenge is a good old fashioned 500 meter sprint. Here's the deal, 50 points for the first to cross the finish line, 40 for the runner up. And for the last one, he can go home to his mama. Nah, just kidding. He will be thrown to a pit full of snakes. Ah, uh, kidding again, or am I? The third will get 30 points. I relax, guys, the snake pit's off today. But remember, it's all about those points. After three challenges, we tally them up to see who gets the McLaren. Or the ice cream truck, right, Joe? Sprinting, huh? Well, remember, I wasn't just shooting hoops back in the day. This should be a breeze. Oh, come on, Barack. I was an athlete in high school. These legs still got plenty of runs left in them. Athlete in high school? That was, what, a century ago, Joe? Don't worry, I'll wait for you at the finish line. Can those old feeble legs carry you to the finish line? Don't underestimate the old guard, Donald. We might just surprise you. Wait, did anyone stretch? I mean, we're not in our 20s anymore. Don't want to pull a hamstring before the real action starts. Stretching is for losers, Barack. Real winners just sprint. If I pull something, I'm calling my chiropractor on you, Donald. Okay, okay. Enough banter. Let's see if our former presidents still have some gas in the tank. On your marks, get set, go. And they're off. Look at them go. It's like watching history run, literally. Obama's in the lead, Trump's close behind, and Biden's. Well, he's bringing up the rear butt with tremendous style. This is easier than negotiating with Congress. Hey, Barack, wait up, save some ice cream for me. This race is rigged, but I'm making a tremendous comeback, you'll see. I told you guys this was going to be a cakewalk for me. How is Barack so fast? This can't be right. I'm the best at everything, including sprints. There must be some kind of mistake. Hey, Obama, you sure you're not using a cheat code? Come on, Barack, what's the secret, huh? Are you shedding some presidential pounds on the way? Because if that's a workout plan, I need in. Hey, Joe, how's the view from back there? Enjoying the scenery? You know, they say last place has its own unique perspective. Shut up, you n Let's say you are winning because of those African genes, but don't get too comfortable up front, Barack. No, Biden, you just didn't. Say the N word again, and I promise you won't say a thing again. You got lucky, little buddy. Next time, I'll be the one doing the victory dance. Ah, this sprint wasn't my forte, but watch out in the next challenge. I'll be the dark horse. Here comes Mesmer Beast in that slick car of his. Watch out, he might just outshine us all without even racing. Yeah, that guy's swimming in cash. How about funneling some of that wealth into my next campaign, huh? In your dreams, Donald. Miss Beast helps those in need, not billionaires on campaign trails. Whoa, Jimmy, watch it. I know I'm not winning, but there was no need to run me over. Sorry about that, Joe. Didn't mean to add Dodge the Supercar to the challenges. Ha, get it. And... Hey, I'm impressed with you guys. Biden, you were like a high-speed turtle out there. Big congrats, Obama. You've bagged 50 points. Trump, you're at 45, and Biden, you've got a solid 30. 
Obama's leading the charge for that, McLaren. Feels good to be on top, but don't worry, guys, there's still time for a comeback, or at least for you to try. Next challenge is mine. I'm not leaving without that supercar. It'll look great with a custom Trump wrap. As long as the next challenge isn't a sprint, I've still got a shot. Maybe if it's an ice cream eating contest, I'll ace it. Jimmy, I hope this next challenge has a bit more spice to it. I'm talking real thrill, something that makes our presidential hair stand on end if we had any that is. If hey, I'm the mastermind here, so how about you zip it, Trump? We're all about fun and games, not boardroom brawls. What did you just say to me, Beast? I'll have you know I'm an expert in both fun and brawls. Donald, Donald always ready to turn a game show into a drama series. How about we put a lid on it and listen up? Mer Beast is about to lay down the law for the next round. Fine, but it better be good. I didn't come here to jog around like a high school track star. Come on, Trump, lighten up. We're here to have a good time. Plus, I heard the next challenge involves something you're good at golfing with Twitter birds. Not quite, Joe, but you're on the right track. We're going for something that'll really test your presidential medal. And no, Donald, it's not a Twitter battle. Now you've got my attention, Jimmy. A test of metal, you say? Let's see if it's more challenging than passing health care reform. Or more complicated than a trade deal. Bring it on, Jimmy. I'm ready for anything, unless it's another book reading contest. Book reading, Donald? I thought your favorite pastime was tweet crafting, or maybe that's just a new age form of literature. All right, guys, enough with the banter. This next challenge will have you all on the edge of your presidential seats. We're talking high stakes, high adrenaline, and maybe even a few high flying antics. All right, for your next challenge, you'll be doing push ups and the one who. What the hell, push ups? These challenges are getting quirkier by the minute. Do you want that McLaren or not, Donald? Because it's not going to win itself. What's got into you today, Donald? Afraid of a little physical exercise? Can't we just have a moment of peace and push ups? Yeah, whatever. Just don't expect me to break a sweat for entertainment. Great. Let's kick off with Joe. Biden, you're up first. Yeah, push ups. That's my jam. I've been doing morning workouts since before the internet was a thing. This should be a piece of cake. Oh, please enlighten us, Joe. What's the secret? Wheaties for breakfast or just good old-fashioned Delaware determination? A bit of both, plus the secret ingredient optimism, something you might find useful now and then, Donald. Merby, sorry, Biden. Let's get those presidential arms moving. Remember, it's all in good fun, and there's a shiny McLaren waiting at the finish line. Count them up, boys. Push-ups are a breeze. Watch and learn how it's done. Oh, my back. Wait a sec, I think. Oh. Oh, shoot my back. That's not good. Joe, there's absolutely no need to turn into a pretzel over a McLaren. We appreciate the enthusiasm, but you don't have to break your back for it. Literally. Oh, look at this. Joe's gone from push-ups to push-downs. Maybe we should have gone with a yoga challenge instead. All right, Obama, you're up next. Let's see if you can set the bar higher than ground level, unlike our friend Joe here. Push-ups, huh? Should be a piece of cake. I've got this, especially compared to Joe's. Let's call it a performance art. Are you sure you can keep that up, Obama? Don't pull a Papa Joe on us now. Yeah, Barack, remember, it's not a filibuster. You can't just talk your way to 100. Don't worry, guys. I'm just warming up. I used to do these in the Oval Office. Call this the presidential fitness test. Look at him go. He thinks this is a campaign rally. How many votes do you get per push-up, Obama? No votes needed, Donald. Just proving that health care isn't the only thing I can reform. That's it, Barack. Show him how it's done. Though I got to say, if push-ups were a debate, you'd have all the talking points. I see your strategy, Obama. If you do enough push-ups, maybe people will forget about the other stuff. What's next? Solving world peace between reps. Well, Obama's on fire here. Look at that form smooth, consistent like his speeches, but with more action. Who? That's as far as I can go. Push-ups aren't just a young man's game, it seems. Let me show you how it's done. This is going to be easy. Watch and learn, gentlemen. You're all about to attend Trump University of Push-ups. See, this is how you do it. It's not just about strength, it's about stamina, willpower, and sheer determination. Qualities I have in spades, and well, let's just say you all could use a little more of. All the others, they're just, what's the word, losers? Yeah, that's right. Can't do as many push-ups as me. I'm going to beat everyone as usual. Wow. Never seen anyone fill the air quite like you do, Donald. You're like a hot air balloon, but for push-ups. It's impressive, Donald, really. I didn't know push-ups could be so loud. Yeah, Trump, you're good at push-ups. Whatever you say, man. Wow. So impressed. Exactly. I knew you'd be impressed. It's phenomenal, really. Just like my presidency, strong, powerful, unbeatable. Sure, Donald. If push-up prowess was all it took to run a country, you'd be on Mount Rushmore by now. And here I thought the presidency was about policies, not pectorals. Well done, Trump. That was awesome. Seriously, didn't know you had it in you. Of course I did. I have the best stamina, the best strength. Everybody says so. Sure, everybody says so. Just like everyone says your golf handicap is entirely self-reported. Good job, Donald, but remember it's not over yet. There are more challenges to come, and not all of them involve the ground. Yeah, maybe the next one will be about humility. You'll ace that, right, Donald? Oh dear, after all that, I feel like I could take you all out. See how strong I am? This is nothing. Whatever, Trump. It's just push-ups, not world peace negotiations. Okay, that's enough push-ups to beat you all. Let's move this along, Jimmy. I've got a McLaren to win. 
Well, for the push-up challenge, it looks like Trump has clearly taken the lead. He's dusted the rest of you literally and figuratively. I guess we just witnessed a presidential push-up proclamation who knew the Secret Service was protecting these guns? It's all those executive orders lifting pens must have really built up your strength, Donald. That's right, when you're as successful as me, every part of you is powerful, including these push-up arms. Prepare to see them steering that McLaren. All right, strong man, save some of that energy. We've still got more challenges ahead. Who knows, the next one might just require a bit more than brute strength. Yeah, Donald, let's see how you handle a challenge that involves diplomacy or maybe spelling. T, bring on the next challenge, Jimmy. I'm ready. After all, I've already proven I'm the fittest. Fittest at push-ups, maybe. Let's see how you handle a challenge that requires sitting still. I hear those are particularly tough for you. All right, gentlemen, enough with the push-ups and on to something a bit different. Let's see how you handle the next game. And remember, it's all in good fun. May the best president win. All right, gentlemen, for your next challenge, we're testing strength, skill, and accuracy. What kind of challenge are we talking about here, Jimmy? Oh, this is going to be good. What's going to be good? Spill it, Jimmy. We're going full Rocky here. It's a boxing challenge in a real ring. The last man standing wins the whole thing, and that winner drives home in a McLaren. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. You want us to fight each other? What the hell, Jimmy? Yeah, Obama, but there's an option. You can choose to leave the challenge now and take home $1,000 or stay and fight. High stakes. Bring it on. I'm okay with the challenge. Always wanted to see if those Delaware haymakers could handle the big stage. This should be easy. I've been in tougher fights on Twitter every day. How hard can a real ring be? Great, from diplomacy to duking it out. Next, you'll have us on Dancing with the Stars. Hey, as long as there's no low blows, Donald blows, Donald. We know you like to keep things interesting. Don't worry, Joe. I'll make sure to aim high right at the policies, not the politics. That's the spirit. But remember, guys, it's all in good fun. No hard feelings, just hard punches. Well, not too hard. You sure this isn't just a clever way to boost your views? U.S. presidents throwing punches sounds like a headline. Can't deny it, Barack. It's definitely going to break the internet. But hey, it's for a good cause and a McLaren. All right, we're about to start with Obama and Biden first, but let me lay down some ground rules. No knees, no elbows, and absolutely no filibustering with your fists, gentlemen. Joe, you sure you want to do this? Because I'm not just going to let you hit me, bro. You're going down the hard way, okay? Bring it on, Barack. I used to box in my high school days. I'll take you down and make it look presidential. All right, Mr. Beast, I'm ready. Just remember, Joe, I've got a pretty solid left hook and an executive order for a knockout. This is going to be too good. I better record this and post it on my Twitter. Former presidents duke it out the ultimate showdown. It'll be huge. Easy now. Donald, save some of that commentary for the post-match interview. Okay, gentlemen, touch gloves and come out fighting fair. Just go easy on the old man, Barack. Remember, I've seen your workout videos. I know all your moves. Joe, just watch out. I've been practicing more than just speeches in retirement. Come on, Barack, show him that Nobel Peace Prize fighting style. And Joe, try not to mix up your left from your right. All right, no more stalling. Let's see some of that diplomatic agility in action. Remember, it's for McLaren and internet glory. You know, Joe, we could have just played rock, paper, scissors for the McLaren. Where's the fun in that, Barack? This way we get to stretch our legs and give Trump something to tweet about. Hey, I'm getting great footage here. Maybe I'll start a new show, Presidential Fight Club. First rule of Presidential Fight Club, tweet everything. What a matchup, folks. It's less of a brawl and more of a dance. A very strategic, very cautious presidential dance. Remember, Joe, this isn't the Senate floor. No long speeches, just quick moves. Don't worry, Barack, I left my filibuster at the door, but I might throw in a gaff or two just to keep it interesting. You know, Joe, in the ring, it's just like politics. Sometimes you have to reach across the aisle, or in this case, across the ring. Yeah, and sometimes you have to throw a punchline. You're not in the Oval anymore, Barack. This is Biden's ring tonight. Best fighter? I seem to recall getting Osama. That count for anything in this matchup? Sure, but remember when we had to fight to pass health care? I did some heavy lifting there, too. And I didn't even need boxing gloves. This is what you get for messing with me, Barack. Delaware still got it. Damn, Joe, where were those moves when you were vice president? You've been hiding your boxing skills under all those suits. Whoa, Biden with the shocker. I did not see that coming. This is going viral, folks. I'm definitely tweeting this one. Sleepy Joe wakes up and knocks out Obama. It's perfect. Be sure to tag me, Donald. I want credit for my comeback. It's not every day you get to knock out a Nobel Peace Prize winner. This is gold, pure internet gold, but let's make sure Obama's all right. We need him in one piece for the viral photo op. Well, Joe, you've definitely made this an unforgettable day. Maybe you should consider a side gig as a boxing coach. All right, folks, after a shocking turn of events, we're on to the next matchup. With Obama out for the count, just for now, we've got Trump stepping into the ring to face Biden. Winner takes all. And that all includes a very stylish ride home. Oh, come on. Taking on Trump will be like taking a piece of cake from a buffet. Piece of cake, I tell you. Piece of cake? More like a Trump steak, tough and satisfying. You're going down, Joe. I hope you're ready, Donald. I've been known to move faster than your last cabinet shuffle. Joe, the only thing you move fast on is towards a nap. But don't worry, I'll wake you up time for a little presidential power. Come on, Joe, show him what those Delaware hands can do. Keep your guard up, he might tweet about it later. Here we have it, folks. Trump vs. Biden, a battle for the ages. And by ages, I mean it might take ages given these two. You're not in the Senate anymore, Joe. Here, filibusters won't save you. And you're not on The Apprentice, Donald. You can't just fire me from the ring. 
oh, it looks like Biden is on the defensive now. And Trump seems to be uh, tweeting, no, wait, that's just his usual fight stance. And Biden, is he napping or just strategically closing his eyes to avoid Trump's swings? Big deep, Joe. Think of it as a debate, but with more confidence. You've got this. Joe, you look sleepy. Need a wake-up call? How about a gentle reminder of who's the real boss in this ring? The only gentle thing here will be how I let you down, Donald. Easy does it. What a match, everyone. Will Biden's scrappy style take down Trump's boardroom brawling? Or will Trump's counter punches tweet out a victory? I'm telling you, Joe, prepare for a beatdown. It'll be so quick you'll think you're passing at a fast food drive through Donald, the only thing you're beating tonight is maybe your own record for the most words per minute. This isn't a rally, it's a ring. There you have it, folks. Trump's promise is a fast victory, but Biden's ready to order a counterpunch combo. Will it be a knockout or just knock-knock jokes tonight? Joe, you're about as threatening as a tweet without hashtags. Come on, show me the stamina. Keep swinging, Donald. Maybe you'll hit your approval ratings or something. Oh, the zingers are flying faster than the punches. If this were a battle of wits, I'd say it's a tie. But it's not, it's boxing. And these two are more about punchlines than actual punches. That's it, Joe. Use your secret weapon, irritate him with your charm. Charm? I thought we were fighting, not dancing. You sure you don't want to just dance it out, Joe? I'd ask you to dance, Donald, but I'm afraid you'd tweet all over my toes. Watch out, folks. It looks like the only thing getting bruised here are egos and maybe our collective sense of dignity, but who's counting? Oh, that one hurt, Joe, right in the policy. You sure you're not packing some executive orders in those fists? Nope, just good old fashioned Joe, but if you keep talking like that, I might have to veto your face with a left hook. It's a political slugfest, but with more slugs than fists. Will anyone land a policy punch or will it all be filibuster and fluff? You're losing this round for sure, Joe. It's like the primaries all over again, but this time you can't count on a Super Tuesday. Losing? Donald, I've been down in the polls and come back stronger. You might find this round goes a bit like November 2020. Don't give up, Joe. You've got this. If you manage to deal with me in the Oval, handling Trump here should be a walk in the park. Sorry, bro. If you think you'll beat me like you did Barack, then you're in for a rough ride. I'm about to make this ring look like a boardroom and you're not on the board. A boardroom, huh? I hope it's not like one of your casinos, Donald. We know how those ended up. Folks, if you're just tuning in, you're watching the presidential rumble more jabs thrown verbally than physically. Who knew the real art of the deal was trash talking? Oh, Joe, I'll smack the confusion right out of you. Just wait. It'll be so fast. You'll think you're at one of those debates where you just wanted to call a lid. And I'll duck and dodge every one like I dodged those debate zingers. Keep swinging, Donald. Maybe you'll hit a policy point eventually. Keep your head up, Joe. Remember, it's not how hard you hit. It's how many times you get up. And we've seen Donald's tax returns. We know he's not as tough as he claims. Keep it up with the jabs. But remember, I wrote the book on the comeback. Literally, it's called The Art of the Comeback. You should read it sometime, Joe. I'd love to, Donald, but I'm too busy running a country. Maybe I'll catch the audiobook version. Enough is enough, Joe. You're about to go down, loser. Take this idiot. Ter Biden, am sorry for this, but I will let you drive my McLaren. And there goes Biden. Oof. What the hell, Trump? What was that for? Sorry, Jimmy. My bad, my bad. It was just the heat of the moment, you know, presidential passion. Presidential passion, huh? Well, make sure your passion doesn't knock out Mr. Beast. I'm supposed to be neutral here. And there you have it, folks. Trump looks like you're not just winning fistfights today. You're also winning this beautiful McLaren P1. You won't be walking home today, you'll be driving in style. What do you have to say about today? How was it being back in the ring and how are you feeling as the winner of this amazing car? You know me, Jimmy, I knew this was coming. I always knew I would be the winner. It's all about winning, whether it's politics, business or presidential boxing matches, I'm simply the best. Okay, okay, we've heard it a million times. You're the best, we get it, Trump. I've told my guys to bring the car around and here it is as it comes. Isn't it beautiful? Damn, that's one hell of a car right there. Makes me wish I'd thrown a few more jabs. See, this is what winning looks like. This car isn't just a car, it's a symbol of success, of triumph, of the art of the deal. He talks about that car the way he talks about his golf courses. Can't wait to see him try to park it. Let's just hope it comes with a good GPS, or he might end up back in the ring by accident. Let me add it, Jimmy. I'm ready to take this beauty for a spin. It'll look great next to Air Force One, or at least the private jet version. You think he knows this thing doesn't come with Secret Service drivers? Wait, wait, we haven't finished yet. Donald. What? I can't hear you over the sound of this V10. It's music to my ears. Later, guys. Damn, this is one hell of a ride. Gotta keep it in my collection. Baron's gonna be excited when he sees this. Get the f out of the way. Welcome back, favorite U.S. presidents. We have another presidency vehicle here with us. Why do I have a strong feeling that today is about to move from bad to worse? Bad to worse? Barrack, what's up with you? Any domestic issue with Michelle? A bad day doesn't have to be connected with his wife or thereabout. Not everyone is the disrespectful, troublemaking Jill. Joe, I swear I do not support whatever Trump has said. I wouldn't disrespect your loving wife in that manner. Nothing Donald says moves me anymore. I'm just worried that Jill now watches this channel. I only hope she understands that grumpy Trump is an old moronic idiot who really doesn't mean what he says. He just opens his mouth and allows anything to come out of it. I hope so too. Anyway, what are we up to today? 
Hop into the car and you will find out for yourself. I do not like the sound of that. The last time this kind of randomness happened, we know how catastrophic the evening was that day. It is so recent that we shouldn't have forgotten yet. I literally still have PTSD. Well, Donald, Obama is right. I understand there is a place for surprises, but I don't think we need any now. No surprises today, none at all. Just some fooling around to have some fun, you know, and maybe putting some people in their place. Away from that, where the fuck is this? I could have sworn on my life that you wouldn't know, and I would still be correct. I mean, what do you expect from a puppet who disguises himself as a president when in reality he doesn't even have access to the presidential seat? Anyway, if you must know, here is one of the infrastructural projects I commissioned while I was in power. I could have done more, but people like you deprive the good people of the United States of the privilege. Posterity would judge you. Say all you want, but one thing is right and remains true. I am the current president of the United States of America. And should things continue this way, I have a better chance of getting the ticket for a second term. This is what I call peak fooling. No one in their right senses would vote for you anymore, at least not after the shambles you have created so far. Moreover, what is the guarantee that your old ass would still be alive by then? This is a fucking stadium. What are we here for? More importantly, when exactly was this structure built? Two questions and two separate answers. First, yes, it is a stadium and we are here to put some professionals in their place. Two, how would you know when this was built when you could care less about what is happening to the people you lord over? Your only focus is funding war causes and all of those shenanigans. I spit on you. One day, you will all trigger the third world war you have been seeking and I will be here to tell you how stupid and crazy you are. Why do you think he didn't want to let us in on that information until we got here? Man, he knows we would never follow him to a place like this. You see, deep down, I think we are slowly losing our focus on this channel with the tasks we have been completing lately. I think maybe we should return to our drawing board and speak again with our sources. Let's be sure we are on the same page. Sounds like a very smart thing to say, but I am very confused about how taking time out to flex our muscles is making us drift off the primary purpose of this channel. Stop discouraging our viewers, you cunt. Your death date is nearer than you will ever believe, so have fun while you still can. Hmm, your death date is nearer than you believe, so have fun while you still can. Donald 2023. Yeah, that's right. You can say that again and again and the quote will never grow old. Come to think of it, why is your opponent acting like a dummy? Are you sure Donald hasn't bribed him to take things easy with him so he would appear like a good fighter in our presence? Joe Biden is an irredeemable idiot. How is that even possible? I haven't been here before now, or have I? Just admit it, I am good with my hands. Come on, see how sleek my dodging skills are too. I bet you are jealous right now. I do not know about Joe Biden, but I am seriously jealous of how much fun you are having inside that ring. Man, I would want to take on a fighter too, maybe when you are done finishing this dummy-like amateur fighter off. Baraki, I never knew you could succumb to peer pressure this easily. Biden, this isn't peer pressure or anything. I have always had it on my bucket list since I was a kid, even before I met and married Michelle. And now that I have the chance to tick it off, why should I hold back? Valid reason, Baraki. Don't mind that old moron. Biden dare not step foot into this ring. I am cocksure his first punch would land him in a state of cardiac arrest. Nothing else, just that. Trumpy, please be quick about your business. My fingers are twitching already. Obama, what would be your explanation when Michelle asks you why you are returning home with a broken nose? Obama really has no explanation to give. He is the man of the house, or isn't he? Do not make it look like he is answerable to his wife or something. Stop making him appear like jelly. Well, while Donald might not be completely wrong, I think he is exaggerating this masculine thing and might be bordering misogyny. I do not want to be a party to that. Is this another eggshell or does Obama just want to make me appear bad despite having his back in this conversation? Honestly, Donald, no one wants to make you feel bad. And no, it is not an eggshell. Perhaps it is just the truth, a hard pill you do not want to swallow. Both of you should shut your trap before I order this guy to finish you up. He might appear like a pussy against me, but honestly, I think he would look scarier against you two, especially against Sleeping Joe. Donald, no matter how much you taunt me, I am not getting into that ring with you, never. It's not against a random WWE fighter I have never heard of before. Check around the stadium. It is almost empty, and there are no medical services around either. I cannot risk my good-looking face for this. I would pass. And if you ask me again, my response remains the same. I am passing. Well, Joe is right. Why are there no medical services? I think there are. There definitely should be. Maybe they are behind the scenes and would only be summoned when need be. I learned about a popular conspiracy about these kinds of fights. Perhaps it is true that they stage it after all, because it looks so easy to me. 
Donald is having the time of his life putting this motherfucker in his place. Away from that, guys, I have heard sirens outside the stadium repeatedly. Are the feds against us again for coming to have fun in an open stadium? Anyway, I think my business in the ring is done. This motherfucker made it easier than I thought. I feel I am playing against a beginner on FIFA. But, yeah, I won, and it is what it is. Of course, it is always it is what it is when things go your way. Anything else, you find yourself blaming everyone but yourself. We know the type of sore loser that you are. Obama, are you still going for it? Ha ha ha. I am missing this for nothing. I am so close and wouldn't pass it up for anything. What about an emergency from your wife? That is such a silly and kindergarten-like imagination. Joe Biden, what exactly has come over you? This isn't fear. I think it is something worse. I hate to see this part of you. Well, my wife and emergencies are two distant poles. I may safely say they are parallel lines that cannot meet. I have not seen any person as meticulous, disciplined, and attention-oriented with their business as much as Michelle. Before an emergency happens then, perhaps someone from the inside is the brain behind it. Some power words backing your wife there. I believe you. It is beautiful to see how much you will stand for Michelle, even if the whole world is against her. Well, at this point, it seems Joe Biden is driving at something. Can you say it already and stop going around in circles? I have known Michelle for decades and have always stood up for her every chance I get. So respectfully, none of these words from you are special or hold water as you think in your mind. Hoof! That one right there is an absolute hit. I bet it would take Biden more than a month to recover. To be honest, I wasn't driving at anything. I am just excited to see someone stand with women. I mean, unlike Donald, that guy is just an ass. Stop the damage control already or risk sounding like a broken record. Allow Obama to focus on this fight. I think I needed that. I mean, this guy right here seems to be more active than your opponent was. Don't blame me, but I think there is something fishy right now. Donald, like Biden mentioned, did you actually bribe that guy, or is he just a pussy who doesn't know how to throw his hands? Whatever you say, young man, I really don't care. I won clean and fair. Now it is your time to focus or return home with a bloodied face. It is easy to think Baraki went to a boxing school. I mean, watches blocks, dodges, and punches. Very precise. Reminds me of Mike Tyson, I'm not gonna lie. Obama's punches aren't as sleek as mine. Stop being hypocritical. Ha <laughs> ha Is someone jealous? I have killed this guy off already. I think I may need another person to take on. My adrenaline rush is taking me to crazy heights. Better heights than what cocaine does to Joe Biden? Do not bring me into the mix. Coke doesn't do any good to the human body, not only Biden, especially when one is addicted. I wouldn't like anyone to compare my current mood with what cocaine can offer. No. But Barrick, aren't you too hyperactive for this? This is supposed to be a friendly game, man. Exactly what I was trying to drive at all along. Well, that was a bait for you, Biden. I thought you were going to respond with some insults around the high school kid line. What the fuck are you talking about, orange head? Well, you know, maybe some of your cliche bants that include the high school setting. Something around Obama-rama is acting like a high school kid who just had sex or something. Do you now get the point, Biden? Donald, you are a catastrophe waiting to happen for bringing this up again. Why would you even think of that? Man, I have been waiting for you to say that all along. We are almost done here, and you seem to have forgotten. And that is why I brought it up for you. So, yeah, don't be ashamed. You can use the line now. I swear a kindergarten has a more functional central nervous system than you do. You mean to say a high school kid? <laughs> I mean, it is obvious even to the blind. Stop fighting it. Respectfully, why did you two allow me to drive? I mean, your silence is surprising. Sometimes you allow kids to enjoy themselves, too. Grabbing the keys from my hands when you stepped off the ring was all I needed to know before concluding that you were actually dying to ride the presidential vehicle again. I mean, it is understandable. It has been more than eight years since you last had such an experience. Fuck you, Donald. Stop making scenarios where none exists. Anyway, what are we doing here now? To unwind and let go of the extra energy we gained in that ring, of course. It is what professional fighters do, too. So why should ours be different? I have never heard of that before, though, but let's just get to it. How do we begin? Haha, uh -huh. Joe Biden is already having a great time doing those push-ups. Shouldn't we stop him before he collapses and goes to his early grave? Shut up, you demented, overfed, rabid dog, and stop dancing like a trapped alligator in front of me, Baraki. Move farther away to embarrass yourself. Ha 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 ha. Oh, goodness. I guess that is all for this video, guys. I hope we get to do a proper mission when we meet next. Enough of the faffing around. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn left by that block, damn it. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. Ain't got no time for freaking rules.
You're reckless, Obama. We're not above the law. I said turn left, not demolish the city. Who's paying for this damage? Gosh, we're toast. This ain't a stunt show, Obama. Sad to know that Obama's driving skill has not experienced any upward move. Retard. No wonder my government inherited a mess. Barack's reign was a mess just as his driving skill. Hold on tight. Boys, we're train surfing now. Hold yourselves, guys. I will not be responsible if anyone loses their teeth. Are we trying to set a record for the most absurd escape ever? At this rate, our obituaries will read like a comedy script. What the fuck is Barack doing? Keep your pants on, folks. We're just getting warmed up. I'm taking us in an unforgettable adventure. Yeah, well, I've had enough adrenaline for a lifetime in the last minute alone. I'm gonna need therapy after this, I swear. I will definitely go for therapy. You're out of your mind, Obama. We're not playing chicken with a train. Yeah, because that's how horror movies start. We're not trying to be on the evening news. We're off the rails, Obama, literally. You son of a bitch, are you insane? Get us off these tracks, man. Relax, we're just taking the scenic route, something you never managed to Teflon Don. What are you doing, Obama? Trying to get us all killed? Can you drive like a man with a brain? Seems to me your dick will do a better job than your hands. Hey, we're still in one piece, aren't we? A little scrapes part of this, unlike your tenure, which was one big wreck. Just stay on the road, you P. Biden of shit. For fuck's sake, keep your eyes on the damn road. Shut the hell up. You worry too much. Heck, Obama, watch where you're going, you lunatic. Oh, man, this is going to cost us big time. Hey, it's just a fender bender. At least everyone's alive, right? Can't say the same for your wall plans. Fasten your seatbelts, losers. Here we go. This ain't Mario Kart, Obama. You can't just take random turns. You are going to get us killed driving this way. Yeah, I think our destination's over there, man. Unlike your political direction. Get us to that car park, Obama. Let's get this jalopy upgraded. Time for some flying fun. Hang tight, fellas. Flying car? This better not end up like our last joyride. Voila. Check out my new black flying beauty. What should we name her? Who cares what her name is, as long as she flies better than you drive. Obama, is this yours or you're stealing it? No more questions asked, fuckers. Get in now or stay back. Hurry up, sissy. We ain't got time for a Sunday stroll. Seriously, you're slower than my grandma. Hold tight to your seatbelts, boys. Showing you some sky-high tricks. Yo, Obama, what did you strap us into? This thing flies like it's stuck in molasses. I've seen turtles move faster than this jalopy. Come on, step on it. Time to eat your words, suckers. Whoa, we're flying. Holy shit, Obama, you're crazy, just like your policy ideas. Watch out, asshole, you magnet for trouble. Aw, nuts. Sparks are flying faster than your tweets. Great going, Captain Crash. We're electrifying the town now. All right, where do you knuckleheads want to go? Los Santos? Vice City? Anywhere but the hospital, man. We've had enough Trump care for a lifetime. Find us a spot to land before we get on the news again? You've got to be kidding me. We're landing in the middle of rush hour traffic. The circus just landed in your backyard. Trump's America in action. Hang tight, boys. I've got this. Oh, great, Captain Chaos at the wheel. Can't you find a landing strip without a pole, Obama? Is this your legacy? Seriously, Obama, are you magnetized or something? At this rate, we'll be an ad for How Not to Fly a Car, Obama edition. Where to land, gentlemen? Anywhere that doesn't involve us becoming street pizza. How about that wide open space? Oh, wait, that's just a billboard, Obama. Hang on tight, fellas. We're taking the scenic route. Not again. I hope this scenic route includes solid ground, Obama. Obama, we're in free fall here. You got a plan besides terrifying us? Relax, we're just experiencing a brief moment of weightlessness. Someone remind me why I agree to this thrill ride? Because, Trump, you never say no to an adrenaline rush, no matter how insane. Looks cozy down there, doesn't it? Hey, sorry to crash your BBQ, bitch. We'll be out of your hair in no time. Sweet Jesus, get out of here, you lunatics. Yes, loser, we are getting out already. You don't have to lose a lung. We are out of here. He better thank his stars. Obama is the one at the wheel. I would have announced my encroachment into their property in a more alarming way. Donald was a great leader. He just lacked diplomacy and respect for human rights. And that's why he was a mistake America will never make again. All right, boys, which way out of this? I'm open to suggestions. Up, down, left, right. Heck, I don't know anymore. For fuck's sake, just fly, Obama, anywhere but into the ground. Whoa, I can imagine the news headlines tonight. Idiot trio crashes car into the roof. Breaking news material. That's more like it, Joe. When you lot make the headline for this drive, do not forget who held the wheel. Guys, look, it's so high, we're saying hi to the moon at night. This ain't a joyride, Obama. We need a landing spot, not a galaxy tour. Obama, can we please focus on not turning into a shooting star? Relax, boys, I've got this under control. Who needs a runway when you have the sky? Trump, save the commentary for when we land in one piece, please. Hold on tight, gentlemen. We're about to touch down. 
gracefully, of course. Remind me to never let you plan our vacations, Obama. Bet the clouds are laughing at us right now. I've seen smoother landings in a washing machine cycle. Thanks, Obama. That was amazing, Barack, but you can always do better for the sake of criticism. Who gives a hoot about criticism? We just got to do what we got to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Eat my dust, coppers. I'm ruling the skies like the drone commander in chief. Yeah, yeah, you're the best, Obama. Just don't get us all killed. I don't know, Sleepy Joe. Looks like Obama's trying to beat his drone strike record. How'd you like that, boys? I'm the goddamn ballerina up here. Oh, you're just a show off, Obama. Always trying to impress us. He just loves to hype himself beyond his abilities. A baton of incompetence is what you are, Barack. As incompetent as you claim I am, I ruled in the Oval Office for two terms. That's something you could not do, motherfucker. Holy crap, Obama, look out. The plane, goddammit. Relax, cowards, we're cool. We're the Aerial Avengers. You're gonna turn us into crash test dummies, you reckless flyer. For the love of God, reduce the altitude before we become a sky wreckage. Reduce the altitude, altitude, you narcissistic bastard, and don't get us killed. Watch me fly circles around that jet. Ready, boys? Obama, you're gonna make us a classified UFO sighting. This ain't Air Force One, Obama. Hey, airliner, enjoying the surprise turbulence? Obama, you just turned us into members of the Mile High Club, but not the way we wanted. Just a minor bump. We're good, gentlemen, no worries. See, boys, I told you I could do it. Whoa! What's next, space travel? Obama, can you land us anywhere without your theatrics? Wish fulfilled, Biden? Fuck you, man. Great job, Obama. We're officially crash test dummies. You're worse than a bull in a china shop. Property value just went up, thanks to me. Oh, splendid. Crash landings is a hobby now, Trumpy? We need to vanish before they call the cops. We're good, aren't we? No big deal. You are such an agent of catastrophe. Your leadership skills sucks. What's the complaint about dickhead? You are still breathing. That's all that matters, man. Barack, can you work on your crashing altitude? It's all seem like your governance. Joe, can you keep your mouth shut? Let's not begin to talk about the mess you will hand over to your successor. Interesting. So good to see two kinsmen settling things amicably. Can you two just keep shut, please? I'm taking us on an interesting adventure. Who is ready for a roller coaster? I swear, Obama, if I wanted a roller coaster, I'd hit up Disneyland. Yo, Obama, drop this crate on Grove Street. Make an impression. All right, boys, here we go. Grove Street coming in hot. Is that Grove Street or Crash Central? Obama, if we hit here, you're footing the repair bill. What's with the sudden halt? Did you forget how to drive? Nah, just picking up my invisible hitchhiker. Come on, step on it. Did she just challenge us to a flying duel? Bet he's never seen a sky show like ours. Show him what you got, Obama. Joe, you know how pathetic Barack's driving is. Why challenge him on a quest that could get us crippled or killed? Shut the fuck up, Donald. Watch and learn. Stop acting like a pussy man and do what you have to do. Barack, do what you have to do. Don't listen to naysayers whose best job is to criticize. Oh, come on, Obama. You're worse than my grandma with a walker. Who put that pole there? The city planners need glasses. We're indestructible, boys. No crash can take us down. Survive this. I'm billing for the heart attack. We're so high, I can see tomorrow's weather forecast. Enjoying the view, boys? Don't look down. We're reaching God's neighborhood up here. I've seen eagles jealous of our height. I'm looking for a spot with a welcome crazy driver sign. I hope for fuck's sake we're not landing on someone's backyard again. Holy moly. A 10 out of 10 landing, boys. That's how you do it, Teflon Don. Landing more like a kamikaze mission. Poor biker. I'm sure when you look at this car's underbelly, it's begging for mercy. Hey, it's just getting a bit of fresh air, Trump. You always wanted a convertible, right? What's with the nose up, Obama? Just giving it a new perspective on life, Adolf Trumpler. Yeah, nose diving into the earth. A unique perspective like your diplomatic strategies. Obama, you're flying us like a blindfolded goose. How are we alive after that? I'd say we're in a flaming metal coffin. We're on fire, Obama, literally. Ain't no stopping now, boys. On a highway to hell. This baby's just getting warmed. Oh, shit. Great, now we're having a flaming barbecue. I'm a man of my word, boys. I said we'd light up the town. You're such a dick. I'm starting to think you're secretly trying to roast us. Oh, man, here come the boys in blue. You attracted them, Obama. Uh, quit your whining. We'll figure this out. Maybe we're gangsters. Never fear the cuffs or time. 